Go back N is the fifth protocol of our reliable data transfer protocol series. Now we are going to discuss some new terminologies and concepts which are necessary to understand operation of go back N protocol. These are pipelining, sequence numbers, sliding window, and cumulative acknowledgements. Pipelining is a technique which allows us to send multiple packets on transmission channel without waiting for their acknowledgements. In this way, we can efficiently use channel bandwidth. As we are sending many packets on transmission link, we need bigger sequence number field to number packets. If sequence number field is only one bit long, we can get only 0 and 1 to number our packets. If sequence number field is 2 bits long, it can represent 4 different values. Therefore, we can number our packets 0, 1, 2 and 3. While if sequence number field is 3 bits long, it can represent 8 different values. Their example is shown here. Hence, we can number our packets 0 to 7. Total 8. Range of packet numbers can be computed by this relation where k is representing number of bits used in sequence number field. Next concept is sliding window. It's a technique for controlling transmitted data packets. In the given figure, window is this. Those packet whose acknowledgement have received means their matter has resolved will be kept here. Dark blue color places. Packets which are sent on transmission channel but their acknowledgements yet not received will have their places here. Dark green color region is also inside the window. These places in window are available. As soon as upper layer sends some packets, window will accommodate them here and send their copies on transmission channel. These light green color places are not usable until and unless acknowledgement of some packets are received and window slides. Now we will study an example to understand sliding window concept. Assume packets 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13 were sent earlier. Their acknowledgements have arrived. So their matter has resolved. These packets are not in window. You see window is this region. Packets number 14, 15, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 are waiting for their acknowledgements to receive. Therefore, a copy of these packets will be in sender's buffer. As window is not completely filled, this dark green region representing free places. So if upper layer gives some more packets, they can be delivered on transmission channel immediately. The light color region cannot be used until acknowledgements of some previously sent packets arrive and window slide. Now in this example, window has slid. Acknowledgements of packet 14, 15 and 0 have arrived. Now it has more places available. If upper layer gives some packets, it can immediately send them on transmission channel and keep a copy in buffer until acknowledgements arrive. Next concept is cumulative acknowledgements. Cumulative acknowledgement means receiver can send a single acknowledgement packet in response to multiple correctly received packets. It means no need to send acknowledgements of each correctly received packet separately. After completing these related terminologies and concepts, now we will discuss go back and protocol. In go back and send window side varies. Maximum size depend on number of bits used to represent sequence number field. Receive window size will always be 1. Because of this size, a receiver can force order delivery of packets. If a garbled packet received, receiver waits for its retransmission. It simply discard all subsequent packets. Therefore, sender has to resend all packets which were being sent after corrupted packet. That is why protocol name is go back n. In this slide, we will see go back n in operation. Packet number 0, 1, 2 and 3 have been sent on the transmission line without waiting for their acknowledgement to arrive. 
so packet number 0 and 1 has received to receiver correctly their acknowledgments have been released but packet number 2 has lost on the way while packet number 3 received correctly see how receiver is is responding on receiving packet number 3 which is actually out of order because it is waiting packet number 2 it simply discard packet number 3 though there is no problem in packet number 3 but it is waiting for packet number 2 so it will accept only packet number 2 and so important thing is look what acknowledgement it is sending it is sending a, it is resending acknowledgement number 1 on the sender side see acknowledgement 0 has received and then meanwhile it send the packet number 4 because acknowledgement number 0 has received some place have been become available in the send window side so it it has sent the packet number 4 packet number 4 is received correctly but it is sent receiver side is waiting for the packet number 2 so it has discarded it and again see that it is sending acknowledgement 1 that until 1 i have received everything correctly send me the packet after the packet number 1 that is packet number 2 and see on the sender side acknowledgement one has received so window has slid now it is ready to send the packet number 5 which is being sent receiver received the packet number 5 correctly but has discarded it and again send the acknowledgement number 1 it is indication that until packet number 1 i have received everything correctly and now i'm waiting for the packet number 2 and see on the sender side time out event occurred now sender is ready to send the packet number 2 so packet number 2 is being sent and after that uh, we have sent some more packets that 3 4 5 all are being sent again packet number 2 has received on the receiver side it is delivered to the upper layer and its acknowledgement is being sent the same is done with the packet number 3 and so on